It is Monday morning, which if you're watching the replay, welcome. Mondays are my days where I hang out with my community and literally craft whatever I'm working on, but more importantly, hang out with you guys, chat with you guys, get to know new people, connect with my old peeps, all the things. So welcome to the replay. With that, we talk a lot, we hang out, we learn, we do so many things. It's like the funnest crafting class you'll ever take. But at the same time, can't promise you you're gonna learn something because sometimes we just end up talking about whatever it is. Uh, let me find you guys so I can chat because I can't see all the comments from here on my phone. I've got a mess going and that means we're crafting today. We're, we're sublimating. Sometimes we just sublimate. Today we are sublimating. Where's all my peeps at? For some reason, Notifications take forever. But guys, you should know every Monday morning at 10 a.m. PST, this is where you can find me unless I'm out of town, which I will let you guys know well in advance if I'm out of town. Oh, I'm signed into the wrong YouTube. That doesn't matter. I can just go to my channel, right? And hang out with y'all live. Wow. Okay, hold on. Two seconds, por favor. Oh, look, there's my live video. There I am. Okay. Hey guys. Hey Lizette. Hey Julie. Hey Tammy. Hey Clarita. Hey Christine. Hey Jennifer. Okay. So today you're gonna see some sneak peeks to stuff that is coming out a uh, couple months for my members. So I'm going down to touch Disney and we are shooting for Pixar and all the Pixar stuff that I'm going to be releasing to my members that I'm currently designing and working on. So pay attention to the patterns that you're seeing, but don't get too excited. They will be out soon. Um, I have a really hard time crafting with stuff that I already have out because I'm designing the next stuff. So I'm like, I just want to make this stuff right now. Hey, Elena. Hey, Mr. Misty. Hey, Evelyn. Where's everybody from today? Um, I am from California, if you're new here. Okay, so today I have fired up the baby easy press the five in one heat press just the clamp um portion the pro 80 hot glue gun that i would love to have in my own color one day hashtag tag ad tech so they know um and we are that's all we have for, and the epson printer but i already printed all my stuff took me about five minutes to print all of this and we're not making all of this together we're just going to make a few of these things together but i'm going to show you what i just printed that took me a couple minutes plus i designed some more sewing templates and different templates at the same time so really took me only a little bit of time to print all this stuff as i was i designed another template and so as I create more and I buy more things on Amazon that are sublimatable, I am going to be creating more templates. So I made a cross grain ribbon template and it's going to be Pixar. And if you guys are new to sublimation, you don't even know what's going on. Welcome. But this is going to brighten up quite a bit. So I can't wait to show you how bright and vibrant this gets as long as we use 100% polyester or as high polyester count as we can. Um, I printed out some fabric bows that are sewing. This is our sewing template and I'm not going to sew these with you guys today. Um, I might not even sublimate them with you guys. I'm going to sublimate the stuff that we're actually making, which is the no sew koozies, which I promised you on Thursday uh, that I would be making. And then I will probably test out the um, cross grain ribbon template because I just created that. So we'll test it out together. I also printed out some Pixar Mickey ear templates, which the Mickey ear template is available, but it's more and more patterns are going to come out soon. The Pixar perfect bow, which is a no sew. So we may make that. I'm just doing all the no sew projects. The headband portion of the Pixar, which is a sewing project. I'm not going to do that with you guys. Um, so I probably won't sublimate them just to save you time. So this is all like six different headbands, sewing headbands. We're going to sublimate these on fabric scrunchies. I only did one because I figured we're going to have so many headbands that our hair is not going to be up, but basically it's me, Tiffany, her daughter, her sister, her daughter, my two daughters, and one of my daughter's best friends. So it's an all girls trip 
and we are Pixaring stuff up. Um, oh, you guys can't see, but I'm doing a Vans template, sublimation Vans template, and I am like racking my brain, but I think I have it figured out. I am literally like I bought a pair of Vans in every size so that I can make templates for them um, because we're gonna do sublimation Vans as well. And as soon as those patterns are like locked in, they'll be available to my members. Um, have you considered making professional sports sublimations? I have not. We kind of dabble with characters only because that's kind of where my specialty is and my passion is. With sports, um, it gets a little iffy. I mean, you could do like inspired by, but we do a lot of Disney inspired stuff. So we're not crossing into that copyright, copyright stuff. So, um, I don't know. So sports, yes, we've thought about it. Do we have a knack for it or do we have like a, a audience for it? Maybe, but we doesn't mean we won't add it to like the files, but it's probably something we wouldn't like have time to film, but it would definitely be something really fun in the future to do like an entire sports series. And maybe when we've just got way too much Disney stuff in the membership, we'll move on to other categories. Um, how fun on the vans. Yeah, and I'm doing these slip-ons because they are the most um, like canvas, like it's the most canvas you can get. So I will have a tutorial, planning to film a tutorial with Tyler on Tuesday to go up you know, shortly. So you guys can see how I'm going to do it. It's kind of the same concept as the old vans that I did like a long time ago, but they weren't real vans. They were knockoff vans. Um, and basically I would have gone with like a cheaper shoe, but I was like, custom vans are really never going out of style, like ever. So I've decided I'm going to tackle vans first and then maybe do some other shoes. But Instructions for the sewing templates. Um, great idea. My goal is to have a tutorial and or do them live with you guys as often as I can so that, you know, we don't need too many instructions. Basically, you sublimate them onto fabric and then you sew them. But these are such basic sewing tutorials that they shouldn't need too much instruction, but I do get it. We need it, especially since we have a lot of members who might wanna try it and don't know how to sew yet. So, no pun intended, we're doing no sew koozies today and we're gonna make four, we're gonna make one sublimated one so that we can try it out. And then we're gonna do maybe a couple with fabric, but really I'm just showing you how to do this. And so it is basically the same exact size template as the cutting template. So it is the same size as our templates that I keep cut out out of construction paper, scrapbooking paper, so I can trace these onto things um, so that I don't have to necessarily use my Cricut all the time. But these bad boys are those, but they're just ready to be sublimated onto fabric. And so we're gonna do that. What size should we do? We have four different cups um, which I might do multiple of them seeing how long this takes me. Um, I'm also supposed to update you guys on Monday on what's new. So I've been traveling and I'll be traveling again two more times this month. So I've had a lot of, I've not had a very good time making sure that you guys have a newsletter every Monday, but there was plenty of new stuff in April. So if you have any questions about the new files, I know these were the sewing patterns and templates were new. So this will help you kind of understand maybe what those are. I also tried out space buns today and I'm ready to just have all brown hair. This is driving me nuts that I have just like these little tiny blonde specks, but that means we're winning. I am battling the blonde and it's almost gone. But I also did, and you can't even tell. And I was like, this is dumb, you can't even tell. I did a zigzag part, which I am on a mission to bring back. I never stopped wearing scrunchies and I also am bringing back the zigzag part. So make sure you guys put your zigzag part in sometime this week and tag me on Instagram because I would love to see it. Um, 
I'm the same way with the blonde in my hair. Gotta try out those no sew koozies. Right, so let's start on them so you guys can see how they're made. You can do this with fabric. Um, this is what I did last week and I was shook. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy all the double-sided interfacing today, which they were almost out of at Joann's. And so I'll try to add some to my Amazon store, but I think I got the right stuff. So I have a little bit left of the right stuff and then hopefully the other stuff works. So we will try the sublimation with the right stuff. This is a Moana koozie that I made. So this, these are koozies. This is what we specialize in in the anti tay world because we're obsessed with cups, but we want so many cups that it's impractical to have tons of cups. So we make koozies instead. And this guy has a little, I was gonna put shells on it and stuff, but I was prepping um, for crafting with a noob, which we blinged lids. If you missed that, that was Thursday. Check it out, we chatted about so much stuff. Um, how do you print a large sublimation by 11 by 17, 13 by 19? Um, so you will want to have a PDF in the size or you want to print and then set your paper up to that size, but you also have to have a printer that prints that size. So if you have the printer, you should be able to set your paper setting. And then once your paper setting is set, you can scale your design. Um, I just set up 13 by 19 templates so that I can start right now. I'm just focusing on eight and a half by 11s because tons of you guys bought the Epson printer that I was like, okay, eight and a half by 11 it is. But now more and more people are buying the larger 15,000 printer. And so I'm like 13 by 19 and it is. And I'm just gonna design 13 by 19. Probably, I mean, 11 by 17 is a whole nother printer, right? So. If you're going big, go big. Get the 13 by 19. That's all I gotta say. Cause you're just gonna be, you're just gonna be sad that you can't do bigger. That's just how it is. Um, uh, long straight hair and zero skill in hairstyling. So plain old straight part for me. Zigzag sound like work for me. No girl. Okay. Long straight beautiful hair. I used to be so envious of girls who had long straight beautiful hair, which. I do, I am kind of still like, I, I'm like, you can just take a shower every day if you want and walk out of the house and your hair looks beautiful. And um, yes, but I also learned, I had to get really good at doing my hair because if I didn't, I would look like I put my finger in a light socket. So um, not that I had to even get good at my hair. I wish I would have learned at a younger age that I did not have to do my hair, that I could have just loved my hair for the way it was. However, I enjoy making my hair look fun. And so zigzag parts, girl, we will, we just try it, okay? Just try it, just venture out. I know some people like if you just parted in the middle your whole life like your hair is like don't touch me don't do anything to me so there's uh even a way to print 13 by 60 i believe if you rear feed what on earth is that i didn't even know that seems like a lot i don't think i'm gonna need much bigger than 13 by 19 but i could see if you were doing big projects i don't i don't you still have to heat press with whatever size heat press you have so i'm like I don't mind just printing a few sheets, you know? So, I'm all for bringing back the zigzag part. Bring it back, April, help me do it. But it is, I, so I did it on the students. Wait, I wanna, I wanna be able to see you guys. So I have a lot going on. I was like, okay, let's make ribbon. Let's make all the things. I'm in a crafting mood. So I did it on the students on the mission trip and I can, which I'm so, it's so funny because um, we had our junior hires and our high schoolers with us and I couldn't get one junior hire to commit to a zigzag part. They were like, no, middle part or bust, nothing. And then all my high school girls were like, I'll do a zigzag part. I'm, I'm down to try new things. So I was like, how funny that this age like there's a pivotal age when they are so influenced and they're like i have to do what's cool i have to wear the shoes that everybody's wearing i have to do it the way that all the other kids are doing it and then they slowly grow up to be these leaders or followers or trendsetters or non-trendsetters and that's when i was like wow this is interesting but i got most of them to do it and what i noticed when we did it is you can't even tell like because it goes like this. I mean, I'm sure some people who are taller than, 
everybody who is taller than me can see it, but I can't see it. Um, has anyone tried to sublimate on Tumblr sold at Michael's? I can't find a template. What size is the Tumblr from Michael's? So did I even say what size we have? We have four different koozie sizes in my membership and I will come out with more as I see fit. And right now, because everybody's doing dupes on the Starbucks cold cup, this is our number one size. So Target sells cups this size. Um, people are just starting to sell cup this size. So this is the cold cup and we have a template for that. Um, if it's a sewing template, you just need to add a half inch seam allowance, but we're gonna do it no soda style today. Then we have the hot cup, which is very popular as well, but it is not very cold outside right now, so probably won't be using that as much. I will be bringing one to Disney with me so that I can get some photos. And then we have the Strata cup, the 16 ounce, uh, does this say what size it is? It's the big one. It's, it's big, but I think it holds less than the other cup, but it's the big cup. So we have that koozie and then we have the grande cup, which I didn't even drink a Starbucks today. I was waiting till lunchtime to drink one. So I don't even have the cup here, which I normally have the cup and it's naked. And now I'm making a cup sleeve for it and I don't have the cup here. Okay, lots of hot things going over here. Um, Okay, I think someone corrected me and I think they're right. It might be Smashing Ink. Yes, so Smashing Ink is where I order my sheets from. Um, and I will get these ready for you guys. You guys can take these and print them at Smashing Ink, but I will definitely get them ready in the sizes. And I think that's why I did the 11 by 17 because Smashing Ink does those. Okay, so we need koozie, 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 and koozie and perfect bow which we can make today and cross grain ribbon we're gonna do scrunchies and headbands um not sure when maybe i'm not sure maybe we'll do it for amazon live on wednesday if you guys want me to show you how to actually sew these and put them together we can do that live on amazon um and i'll be testing some out today so okay what you need for a no sew koozie you need either fabric or like we're gonna do fabric and sublimation which you just need a bunch of white so i suggest the um tablecloth from amazon that is my hack that i found and i love it and it's super cool um so it helps you save money because you buy a huge thing of fabric it is only for certain projects though. So I'm actually gonna use it for the vans and the headbands and the koozies, um, but I really want to find something to use my really fun minky fabric for that I got. So ideas for minky fabric, uh, it would be fun for a koozie, but I feel like it's a little stretchy, which might be better, but because we back it with felt, it's not gonna be movable. It's just gonna be, um, it's gonna lose its stretch. Does that make sense? Okay. So I've decided today I'm just gonna go with the thoughts that are in my head and not pause because what I'm really what I'm really learning is like sometimes I feel like I have to explain things and dumb it down, but then I realize like no, you guys are extremely crafty humans and I love that. So we're gonna become masters at this stuff. So if you are kind of like, what? I'm so lost, make sure you watch the 101 series. And I'm not doing beginner stuff anymore live. We are moving forward. We are getting crazy crafty for the rest of our lives. So that was my dream to like get all this stuff. We will film 101s with any new concept like sewing and sublimation and all that stuff, paper crafting. But live, you're going to get shook because we're about to make some really awesome stuff. So um what are you doing a live show or explaining when are you doing a live show or explaining the membership we're actually gonna hopefully be filming a membership overview on tuesday so we can have that but our membership is digital files tons of digital files we have sublimation now we have svgs we have printing cut tons of stuff so um it's always changing and ever flowing that's why it's taken me a long time to just film an update on how to use it um okay so what are we doing koozies okay we need fabric 
and I am going to just cut off some pieces of this. I'm just gonna sublimate all the fabric. Maybe I should just sublimate the hair bows at the same time, but we'll do it, we'll do it later. So I do, I am going to eventually move my sublimation studio into the actual warehouse where it's well better ventilated because I'm finding that the off gas of sublimation does bother me. So if you are sensitive, even if you're not sensitive, I highly, highly suggest doing this stuff in a well ventilated area. So, um, okay. So I just need, where's my scissors? But I really love it in here. That's the hard part is like, I love coming in here and just crafting, but um, a studio is probably better anyways. Okay, so we're just gonna cut a bunch of pieces. I could have prepped this and have this ready. So you just didn't have to watch this part, but it's okay. We're gonna be okay. All right, um, another thing, I don't do dance party or dance breaks on the YouTube, but we do them on Amazon Live on Wednesdays because Amazon doesn't care if I use copyrighted music and I'm also not monetized over there. So that's why we don't do dance breaks with the actual music on YouTube. Just in case you're missing those and you're like, how come we don't do dance breaks on YouTube? That is why YouTube is very, very finicky about what they allow. So it's a good thing. It protects people and makes sure that artists are getting the money that they deserve. Okay, uh, can you add an exhaust fan there so you don't have to move? Okay, I don't have to move, like, and no, because there's a door and then there's a door. I have these big vaulted ceilings right above me. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it is very vaulted right here, so it does go up. However, all the gas goes up into my office. Like, after I'm done filming, I'm not so, it's not so bad right here, but as soon as I go back upstairs, I'm like, whoo, it smells like sublimation up here. So I just don't want it to go up there. In the warehouse, we have exhaust like spirally things that go outside. So I definitely need to move anything that we're doing um, with sublimation out there. And I'm fine with it. We have it all set up for filming anyways. It's just kind of cold, but it's getting warmer. And when I, it's sublimation, so I'm literally standing by a heat press and it actually gets a little too warm in here. So it's, it's a win-win, it'll be great. Um, and then I actually probably just gonna set this room up as a general crafting zone slash possibly a little podcast area. Um, do I have time to make a podcast? No. Do I want to make a podcast? Kind of. Do I just want two chairs to sit in that are cute? Yes, absolutely. That's really what I want. Um, yeah, drop your Instagram and support each other. I see the single Mickey under Mickey and Friends, but not the seamless. Um, which one? So we're seamless Mickey. So Mickey is actually next month. Mickey has not come out yet. So you probably are thinking you, this is why it's a problem that I do in time live videos. Cause normally if I film, I'd be filming this and then you wouldn't see it until it actually comes out. But since I'm working in real time with you guys, Mickey comes out in April, Mar well, I don't even know what month it is. It's March, no, it's April. It comes out in May. So May is gonna be Mickey May. And then we have Pixar Summer coming. And this is just sneak peeks to things. I'm, I try not to share stuff with you guys too early because then you guys get excited, but at least you know when it comes out, there's a video that has shown you it. So you, I actually prefer it this way because, because I will, then you'll know ahead of time rather than me creating something, me moving on, and then me never putting something up about it because I'm on to the next thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, perfect bow and cross grain ribbon, which we've never done. I have two, so we need two cross grain ribbons. I'm so excited about the cross grain ribbon. We have done it, but we've never done it with the template, which I'm pretty sure will work out great. Is there any other templates you guys would want me to come out with? So basically what I'm doing is anything I get on Amazon that is cool, I'm gonna make a really easy printable template for. But is there anything that you wanna see first? Ooh, 
that was cut real close. Um, so like pop sockets, what other, what other things are there? There's those puzzles, which is pretty self doing. It's a square. Um, but let's see. Tiffany was so inspired. Uh, space buns. Yes. I, Tiffany made, is Tiffany here? I did space buns because I was like, I, those are so cute. Plus my hair is like really greasy right now. So it's like a really good project. Plus I got new hair clips. Um, so butterfly clips are back, but the kids don't know how to wear them correctly. So I've thought maybe I need to do like Instagram reels or something to just show the kids, guys, you're doing this wrong, but not rude. You know, like how do we tell the kids they're doing this wrong? Like you can't steal our trends and then do them wrong. You can make them your own, but at least do it better than we did it. And I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. So I want to see the butterfly clips done correctly. All right. Um, and I literally just every time I look up and see myself, I'm like, you look like Mary Kate and Ashley. Um, they were my like inspiration. Okay. So that's the thing at Mary Kate and Ashley. I don't know if you guys ever watched any of their shows, but everyone thought I looked like them as a kid. And so, and really sad story before I knew that they were actually twins. I wanted to be Michelle Tanner's twin, which I'm sure every little girl had this dream or something. But then I found out that they were really twins and I was like, that's it. My whole life is ruined. My twin has her own twin that looks way more like her than I do. But then they started doing all their little shows and they had like their hair done so cute all the time. I would always try to copy their hair because I was like, I need to look like them because that's my, that's my twin split into two over there. So... Oh my gosh, I used to wear like 20 butterfly clips. Right, the butterfly clips. The proper technique is to, what is it? Head or a ponytail, maybe a little loose bun, and then clip it. If there's a hair out, you clip it. No, kids are just like, here's a butterfly. I'm like, no, it needs to be 30 or more butterflies. You should not be able to lay your head back on a pillow, you should not be able to move. Like you should be able to shake your bonbons and your hair should be stable, but you should not be able to put your head on anything because the butterflies will possibly be stabbing you in the head. That's the proper way to wear butterfly clips, right? Um, Barbara, Bar Barbara, Barbara, you have not missed much. Just me literally rambling about sublimation. So go back and watch it because I don't even know what I've said. Okay. So cross green ribbon, guys, why didn't you stop me? I cut fabric for cross green ribbon. I suck at life. All right, we don't need that. I was just way too deep into my hair conversation and my obsession with Mary Kate and Ashley. Okay, so let's make our, um, okay. The timer thing, I have to get used to it. I don't like that I can't just set it and forget it because I will forget it. Um, so I have to make sure I set the timer. It is crucial. You guys can't even, oh, I forgot this thing does that. How did I forget that? So the one thing I love about the five in one that I forgot did it, uh, is that it pulls out like that. So cool. Okay, let's just sublimate all this, get it done. You guys can see this pattern. I'm coming out with tons more of this pattern. I just made the template for this pattern and pattern, pattern, pattern. Um, it is ridiculously cool and cute. So I'm going to actually put these little seams off to the side because I don't think they're going to, they're going to get in the way of the heat press. I'm not taping anything down because I only am doing this. I don't have to move anything. So I want to make sure I want to get a good seal. Hold on. I want to get a good seal, but okay, we should be fine. We're fine. Okay. Setting the timer for 60 seconds set. And then it'll beep at me. Um, I tried so hard to use them to hold my hair up. I can't wait to put them on my daughter. You got to try harder. You got, you got this smaller pieces of hair, something you can do this. Um, butterfly clips in a spider web pattern. Yes. And I used to do these, like, it looked like you have a mesh thing on your head. Like you do like 
four and then you split them and then you do six and then you split them and then you do four. We did some interesting things with our hair. We didn't have hot tools. Okay, I didn't set the timer. I pressed set and I forgot. You're supposed to press the down button and now I'm changing. I just want, I just, I just want to set the timer. <laughs> okay, so if you have this, just remember the down button is where you set the timer. Now I don't even remember what, uh, how long ago, how, how, tell me when it's been 60 seconds. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I would just won't, I'll just babysit this. I don't know how to do it, but how did my temperature go down to 391 degrees though? It's supposed to be set at 400. It's going back up. I don't know. I don't know what I did. Um, is sublimation, don't you need butcher paper? Uh, I have parchment paper, whichever, or not parchment. I have Teflon paper, which everyone gets mad at me for using. So parchment paper might be good. Um, but use paper, not Teflon when sublimating. Teflon traps moisture in. So I need to get some parchment paper. Uh, but it works. Like I've never had issues with it. I did a shirt and it turned yellow. Ooh. So scorching is probably your issue, right? So scorching just means that you might be using too long on your product, but we are working with like super high temperature. Was that 60 seconds? I feel like that was 60 seconds, but I have no idea. It worked, it's cute. Okay, so this is what the perfect bow looks like. It's the Pixar, I'll, I'll come close and show you guys, um, but it has a bunch of little, it's like a pattern with a bunch of Pixar inspired things and there's some like hand-drawn art in it and some photography, so it's really cool. Um, let's do one koozie so we can get started on the no so koozie. I want to make a grande cup. I don't know what this one is because they're not named after. Pretty sure this is the grande cup. Okay, we're gonna try to set the timer this time. Do, 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 do. There's just these seams on this, so you can cut the seam off if you don't want to put it on the edge, but I'm just making sure that the seam is not in the heat press because anything that causes it to like not have firm pressure, I'm actually going to, um, I think it's the, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to press this for a little bit so that that gets a little wrinkles out. That worked good. I just need to start ironing my clothes like that. Okay, I'm gonna put the koozie right here. And I'm gonna put the Teflon on, even though I know I'm supposed to be using parchment. And we're gonna put it down. And okay, timer is good. We did it correctly. Um, I've always used Teflon and never had an issue. Yeah, I haven't. Um, set the timer on your phone and said, you guys are on my phone, so I can't do that. I could do it on my watch, but I see you guys on YouTube on my watch. Do you guys see my Apple Watch band? Hold on, I need to get closer with you guys. We'll do it when I'm not celebrating something. But I showed you my Apple Watch band. I bought this so I could photograph it in the park, and it is so cute, and she sells these like Apple Watch charms. So if you go there, tell her you I sent you, and then maybe she'll give us a coupon code. But, um. I've been eyeballing it forever, and I'm like, when I can go back to Disneyland, that is gonna be on my wrist every time I go, and more, probably, so. Heat barrier. I did a heat barrier, right? These, this also comes with a Teflon sheet attached to it, so, all right, we're good. The timer also is super quiet on this. Okay, so. We've got, I got you, I got you. You also have to stop the timer. So here's our, this is what the template looks like when you've pressed it. It is perfectly sized to, if you print it at 100, like just standard PDF print with the eight and a half by 11, these are exact size. So you don't need to measure anything, cut anything. You don't need to use your Cricut. That's what I love about it. Um, so 
we're getting back to like real crafting in our lives instead of constantly being on our computers and that's I think I've explained that a lot like I'm just sick of always being on my computer my Teflon sheet is still on there that's all right um so the less I have to be on it when I'm crafting the better okay let's set the timer okay so we're gonna make okay I think that's my new thing. I'm trying so hard not to click. I'm trying not to go, and I don't know when I do it. Every time I've tried to explain to somebody I do it, I'm like, I don't know where it comes, what part of the sentence it comes out in, but it's super annoying to me. And so I'm trying to stop. So I think I'm replacing it with, okay, okay. <laughs> they are now Apple Watch bands to sublimate on. Um, I know these are legit like, they feel like Apple Watch bands though. The other Apple Watch bands, like if if you guys have a reference to where the like blanks are that are actually like the silicone ones, let me know. I don't, as far as I know, you can't sublimate on the silicone ones, but I may be wrong. Um, I'm recently new to your channel. Welcome, Kim. Thanks for loving it. Uh, you should join our membership if you love all the stuff I make. Um... If you have butcher between substrate and the Teflon, that's fine. Just shouldn't have the Teflon directly to the substrate. Okay, so I should have paper and Teflon, which this has Teflon on it already. So I probably don't even need a Teflon sheet then. So just butcher paper, then this, I guess, I guess. Okay, so now we have a hot coffee cup one done. So that one is ready. I wanna do the ribbon. We're just sublimating everything first because we're on a roll. Printed this all, sublimating it all, putting it all together. Literally making so many crafts. I have my Vans shoes like curing, drying so that I can make the templates. I'm making every single size like the exact size so that you guys don't have to do any guesswork and hopefully it'll work. I don't know. I got one down and then I was like, I really have to make, I thought I could just make one template for a size and then I could just size up and size down. No, not, I didn't set the timer. Okay. Not all vans are made the same. Not all size. They literally, it's like a sewing pattern. I'm learning too, as I'm trying to make templates for sewing patterns. It's not just make it a little bigger. There's inseams and all the things. So it's different. I am going to be sublimating fabric to put on the vans. And so I'm making an actual template for the vans that is exactly the size of every size van. So I can put my fun graphics into them so then you guys can use my graphics to sublimate on vans and either sell or make for yourself. So lots of fun things forgot the teflon sheet just now but again this has teflon wrapped around the heat part of it so i just don't want to get any of the ink onto that because then it'll get onto other projects um mickey may and pixar summer whoop, whoop. yes mickey may and pixar summer so doesn't mean that's all that's coming out we have lots of things for mother's day and all the things um mother's day already came out though so we have tons of fun stuff already in the membership and then we're coming out with more. All right, we're on to our last fabric piece. I feel like we could make the bows while we're laying here. Not, nobody's laying here. We're all just hanging out. Okay, let me press this, get the wrinkles out and put on my sublimation. I'm gonna use double Teflon. Maybe I shouldn't. I feel like it was more vibrant when I didn't. Okay, let's do it. Okay, okay. Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. It's gonna drive me insane now. It just, it's like, I, timer. I really, like I'm just, I'm just trained to like close it and do something else. Close it, do something else. Um, thank you. I joined as a member last week and I'm loving it. Welcome Dynamic Disney Duo. Um, thank you, Jenny. You guys have a little bit of a lag, so your guys' timer recommendation comes in about 15 seconds late. So thank you, and it's still helpful in case I forget. The cross grain ribbon template is two sheets for the three inch and then one for this. So hopefully we won't ever have to buy 
ribbon again. That's what my hope is. Um, my hope is that I can just keep white in stock and white fabric in stock and I'm gonna make my own fabric and my own ribbon forever. I also got a tip on how to make glitter ribbon that doesn't shed. I would love to show you guys that tip. I just wanna make sure that I don't steal it from the person and I let her know that I'm gonna do it and fully give her credit that she came up with that concept. But I don't wanna share the concept if she's trying to keep it a secret. Okay, um, okay, cross grain ribbon and then we're ready to craft. That was super fun. We made four koozies, one, two, three, four, and a perfect bow. Took us no time at all, right? How is it already 10.40 a.m.? So maybe it didn't take us time. I'm just literally having so much fun with you guys. I'm in a mood today, clearly. We did so much fun stuff this weekend. Let me tell you all about it, but let me show you how to do this first. Okay, so here's where we're gonna need our heat tape because we're using different pieces and we don't want it to come apart. So the template for the three inch ribbon is just a tad larger so that you make sure you get sublimation on everything. And then the three inch one is pretty much like dead on, or the one and a half inch one is like dead on. Like you, you gotta get it right in the center. So I'm just going to, so if you guys like these though, and you're gonna use them, I got tons of patterns up my sleeve, but if I don't see you guys using them, I'm gonna move on to another craft. That's kind of how I work. So if I see that you guys are using something, I go with it and I'm gonna make a bunch more of that. If I see that like it was a flop, we're not gonna make any more of those files. So if you want more of certain files, you gotta tag me and show me that you're actually making these things because I wanna, I wanna reward you guys and give you guys more of that stuff that you guys have. Obviously, I want you guys to actually create with the files that I come up with. So that is the goal here. All right, so we're gonna do this and then I'll talk about my weekend as we do the other one because we have two to do. Um, I'm so confused all about all the licensed characters of your membership. So basically everything is commercial use if you're commercial rights use member everything below the line where it says everything below this line is personal use only you cannot sell with that stuff so we make sure that our designs are truly character inspired um if they're not they'll be in a section on the website that's going to be a box now if you look at lion king you'll see how i set lion king up and that's how every character is going to be set up soon so um it should be pretty easy to understand but for the most part, everything will be inspired by Disney so that you can sell with them. But if you're just creating for yourself and for fun, feel free to use anything you find in the membership. I swear we're gonna use the heat, the easy press. It's just, I'm just gonna turn it off for now because it just keeps beeping at me like it wants to turn itself off. Okay, so I'm just gonna tape with the heat resistant tape so that these stay in place. And we're going to make enough ribbon to make one Pixar. This isn't how I wanted to do it at all. This isn't what I wanted to do. Now, I'm con now I just don't do it like this. So actually what I wanted to do was, erg, this is not how this is intended to be. So you're supposed to cut this apart we could have made two little small bows, I guess, and glued them together, but so that is not what I want to do. And then I want to put them together lengthwise and then do a long piece of ribbon. That's that I was like, that looks very short for a bow. I just created this template like minutes before we started. So I don't, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm new here. Okay. Give me a break. So now I'm going to take that on. I need ribbon though. <laughs> okay, I'm all, what am I taping this to? Ribbon, you need ribbon. Okay, uh, I'm glad you guys can see it because in there, it doesn't look like you can see this, but you can. Okay, so what we want is, I'm just gonna cut a little extra long actually, cause who cares? And we can cut it off afterwards. So we want this to be taped down on this end, like so. We're gonna make one long piece of ribbon. 
I really am gonna make this template on the 17 by, or 19 by 13, so that we don't even have to worry about this. But if you are a nine, eight and a half by 11 sublimator, then these templates are good for you. And I know I need a tape dispenser, yet have yet to get one, so I will, I promise. I've just been creating and designing and traveling and all the things. So here's what we wanna do. We, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this together like so, and then tape it on there, get you out of the way. So this is a little bit more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh, I'll just do this one real quick and then we'll talk about my weekend. But it's taking a little bit more. So I'm gonna put tape where all those little pieces go together and then I'll have to press this twice because it's too long for my heat press. So I gotta keep all those pieces in place and hopefully it works. The thing about the cross grain ribbon is it's like got a ridge on the edge. So I'm like, okay, I know we did it with Mickey and it worked out great. I'm going to put this on, I should have done this all on here. Okay, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna tape these pieces together right here. Sorry, I'm not reading your comments. I'll be back in a second when my brain can think. But when I start talking to you guys, I make mistakes. So I swear I know how to craft a little bit better than this. Okay. Teflon sheet, just so I don't transfer ink to my actual Teflon sheet. That's the only reason I'm doing two. And we're gonna press, we're gonna set the timer. I think if I say it out loud, I won't forget to do it. Um, sticky spray will work also. I'm on break from work, I can finally tune in. Hey Jessica, I haven't tried sublimation yet. I'm waiting for my printer and my heat press. Both are on back order, so waiting not so impatiently, or not so patiently. Can we decorate Bujo with C1? Still haven't decorated my cover. That's a great idea and I'll just give her one. She has to use it though and it's not necessarily a crafty thing, but the Bujo needs some explanation. Um, and yes, let's do that. Let's deck, we're not, we don't have C1 this week, but make sure you're following our Instagram stories because we are doing Touch of Disney so you won't want to miss it. I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure that I'm on my stories a lot with it. Um, for those of you guys who miss Disney, it's a touch of Disney, but it, you can't really go into Disneyland. You can just go into California Adventure. But that's why we're doing Pixar, and I'm like, we're gonna just film all the Pixar stuff, or photograph all the Pixar stuff. Oh, Tiffany actually just launched more sublimation blanks. Are you guys so excited? She came out with a perfect hoodie, which is another thing we're gonna be photographing while we're there. This scares me guys. I have to like keep it perfect. It's gonna be all bad. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my gosh, it's cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, that's gonna be cute. Um, so she just came out with a perfect hoodie timer. Thank you for reminding me, even though it probably hasn't come through yet because there's a lag. Um, I'm so stoked about the hoodie, right? Me too. And um, I'm so excited that she's carrying all this stuff because I don't have time to scout it and find it perfectly. And she just took it on and has been loving it. Obviously, she's not a crafter. That's why we have Crafting with a Noob. But she dove deep into learning all the stuff she needed to learn for blanks. And I don't think there's any stopping her. So if you're a sublimator and you want sublimation blanks that are high quality and ethical and high polyester, um, to wildroses.com, T-W-L wildroses.com. She just launched kid blanks, baby blanks, and um, super, super cute white hoodies, which I'm gonna do some like, I was like, Tiff, I need a few of those so I can demo them, but um, I don't think that she's gonna have any problem having people buy them. However, I want to have them so I can actually demo on them because I'm gonna do some tie-dyeing of them and stuff too. Okay, this is so cute. Now we can make the second one and talk about my weekend. That was so fun. Look at this, look at it. It's so cute. Never making, never buying ribbon again, only making ribbon. Who needs to buy ribbon when you can make it yourself? 
so stinking cute. I can't wait to make it with 13 by 19 though, because that'll save me a lot of time. Um, and my girls are too big for softball bows. Like we're on a team that doesn't use softball bows anymore. I'm not, not okay with it. Not okay with it at all, actually. So um, if I was doing softball bows, maybe I just need to randomly make some for other people. Actually, no, that was my favorite thing to do was make softball bows. I'm not happy. I'm not. I'm not happy about it. Um, what is the website? TwoWildRoses.com. Is Tiffany here? Are you here? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Your name says Tiffany Lynn, and I don't. I don't see you as that. So Tiffany is here. She is finding us all the things. This is perfectly seamless. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we actually have to tape it. I'm gonna do this. Like I said, I would do, did I say I was gonna do it like that? Cause I don't know if it'll make sense. Um, I'm just gonna cut a long enough piece. And this is from Amazon and it's 25 yards. So it's gonna last us quite a while. I don't remember how much it was though, but we'll talk about it on Wednesday and I can actually link it and I'll do the sewing bows. Do, 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 do. Okay, tape. Type, type, type. Wait, I need to put this. How's this gonna work? How do I, I'm, I think it actually worked better the way I did it over here and then flipped it. I thought it wasn't, but it is. Um, okay. In there, Tiffany, you're gonna become so crafty because now you watch all the videos and you do all the videos. And I'm pretty sure Tiff is gonna join me for some Amazon Live soon, which I'm really excited about because I think she's gonna be amazing at that. So, super exciting. All right, um, I am loving that you go from one thing to another like I do. You are loads better about getting back to the original thing than I am though. <laughs> well, i am got a little training and you guys used to, I mean not used to, but you guys keep me on track. Like used to be, I would just read the comments, you guys would remind me, like, you were supposed to finish telling us about this. Um, so, I have practice, but I'm still really bad. I'm just, yeah, i all over the place. Um, and obviously, I can't do both. Like, if I comment to you guys, I make crafting mistakes. If I don't comment to you guys, I just get so in tune with the craft that I'm doing that I forget to talk to you guys. So it's, it's all fun. It's all fun. It actually works my brain like a lot. Actually, when Tiffany's here, it makes life so much easier because she can talk to you guys while I'm like, okay, what's the next step in the craft? So co-host Tiffany, are you in? You need to be my co-host forever. Um, okay. All right. Let's, I know, I know. I need a tape dispenser for anybody who just joined. I've said it. Every time I do it, I'm like, I know. I really do need a tape dispenser though. Like this is not even cute. Okay, what's happening here? We need you perfect. I told you I'd tell you about my weekend. Okay, so this weekend I decided, hello, you live in, well, I've decided this a while ago and I started planning around this. I was like, hello, you live in the best state in the United States, even though it's the lamest state in the United States. We live in the lamest state in the United States for our, um, well, I'm not even gonna go into that. Uh, our freedom and all the things. My kids have to be homeschooled. It's, it's, it's a lot. So California, lame for freedom and choice, um, but amazing for uh, landmarks and weather. So what I've decided is since we do live in a state that oppresses our choices and rights, I'm gonna eat up all the things I can do in it. So this week, and I took the girls to a national landmark cave and then we went wine tasting, me and my husband and my brother-in-law and his girlfriend. And then yesterday, what was yesterday? What did we do? And then I just went, we went on a date with another couple uh, to a brewery. So it was like a full jam packed weekend of fun things. And we don't do that much because we're renovating our house and we're constantly renovating on the weekend. So I was like, listen, I'm sick of renovating, which is probably an argument we have like once a week, 
honestly, because anybody out there renovating, renovating sucks. Renovating's awesome when the parts are done, but we all know it doesn't really fully get done. And also it's really can take a toll on you if you're renovating and you're living in the midst of it. So I decided once a month, I'm gonna just put a bunch of fun things on a weekend. And we're just gonna have a weekend away from this hole of construction and we will be refreshed and have an exciting weekend. And then we can come back to let's work on the backyard or whatever it is. And so that's what we did this weekend. We took full advantage of some of the Californian things and the cave was really cool. We learned all about rocks and things and it was our homeschool day. So paper on top. I know there's a Teflon sheet on the thing. Like I said, as soon as I start talking about my weekend, I forget what I'm doing with my life. Um, I need to get a hoodie now. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be restocking them, Tiff, right? Because they're gonna sell out. Okay, I just wanna make this bow. The hard part is I actually have to get these crafts done. And that's probably why I just started going at it in, in the beginning, because I was like, I don't normally have to get crafts done on Mondays. So today I do, and this is what I'm like. When I'm crafting, I'm literally like, bam, oh, new template, I'm designing it, I'm making it, I'm crafting it. And then I'm making something else, and then a new idea pops in, and I'm like, okay, let's finish that one, or not, walk away from it, go to another one. Um, we have so much to renovate in our house, will never end. Yeah, and I, okay, so we bought this house with, and we kind of walked you guys through the purchase of this house. Um, it was back when I was going live a lot and we still did crafting with the hub crafting with crafting with hubs hub, what, what was my show called with my husband crafting with hubs craft cra I don't know when we did that we talked a lot and we actually stopped doing that weekly show because we were moving and then once we moved we had all the renovation to do so I would just go live or I wouldn't I think we just canceled lives for a while because we're renovating a house and um the inside is is pretty much done. Like everything is is to a point where everything looks pretty good. There's a lot of little things that I want to get to, and um, I have an Instagram account that I promise I'm going to start sharing on now that this place is set up. But um, it's called She Stays Home. Hey, is home, get it, Tay's home, she stays home. And um, I'm gonna be sharing all of our renovation projects and stuff on that. Okay, so this is interesting. Yellow is interesting. I didn't even, wait, I'm looking at the paper, not at the ribbon. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's why I was like, wow, it's really light. That's the paper, Tania. This is the ribbon. <laughs> All right, we got all the sublimation parts done. I need you still. Uh, okay, turning the heat press off, moving it to the side, because we're gonna make one koozie at least. I got my, that on, I got my heat press on. I gotta show you guys how to make the, the koozie, because I didn't even show you on Thursday. Um, we'll make some bows possibly on Wednesday, and we'll make the headbands on Wednesday. So I just wanted to show you how to sublimate your own ribbon. I made the yellow and the blue. This is for Pixar. Is that not so cute? Um, so we're gonna have bows and headbands and shoes. And I'm not doing any shirts because we're just doing sublimation shirts and there'll be mock-ups. So the photos that we're actually taking are gonna be are gonna be usable by my business members to use as mock-ups. So you're gonna get our kids as models and me as a model and my cousins as models. So it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be fantastic. This is so cute, never buying ribbon again. Um, okay, I hear you, you're on, I know. That's the thing, the Cricut thing, it definitely lets you know when it's done and when it's on, it's simple. Cricut's got a bunch, you know, Cricut has that going for them. Their products are cute and easy to use. All right, goodbye Teflon G. Um, become a member, sis, it's so worth it, right Tiff? Thank you. Um, Tiff, do you ship to the UK is a question. Did, but not a, nice, but not a member. Mm-hmm. You definitely want to be a member. Otherwise, you're not going to feel very included in a lot of the stuff I talk about, sadly, because we just have so much going on over there that in order to get out how to use the things that I'm doing, I have to do it on YouTube. And so 
I'm sorry. If you're not a member, you just become a member. If anything, just become a member for a month and see if you like it. Leave if you don't. You're gonna wanna say though, cause it's, we're, we're, we got big plans for y'all. Okay, so that was a bust. We didn't need those. Okay, here's what you need for your, that's the new one. This feels different. So this feels very different. I don't think it's the same thing, but it says it's two-sided infusible, uh, infusible, no, not infusible, fusible fleece interfacing, um, not fleece. Okay, let me say this again. This is two-sided, medium firm, fusible interfacing. A lot of unnecessary words in whatever I tried to just say. But it feels extremely different than this, which is what I ended up using and loving. So we're gonna do one on here so you can see. I will try to remember where I got this. It's very rough and grainy, so I'm guessing it's the, the firm, not the medium. But we'll see what a medium does, because I got three boxes of it. So we're gonna be trying it out. Okay, so what we need to do now is we have to get, let's just do the biggest one so you guys can see how it's done. Um, now, hear me out. The cold cup koozie, the little corner is missing. It fall, it, it's like just a slightly too big for the um, eight and a half by 11. So one corner will not have a pattern on it. So that's really sad, but it's not the end of the world. So when you have a bigger printer, it'll fit perfect or you can print out. I'm actually gonna be having sheets of this stuff too. So you could print it out and then just use a little corner to fill it in if you want to. Um, Maybe we'll do, because I don't have that much of this, I'll do the grande and the hot cup, just so I make sure I get two cups. Okay, so what we wanna do is we want to get, actually I could fit them both right on this. I'm gonna do the rainbow. I got this um, felt from Hobby Lobby, but I actually just bought like a bunch of packs from Joann's because I wanted to, uh, what did I want? I wanted to have a bunch of felt. <laughs> That's why I got it. Uh, I'm gonna make sure this sticker is off of it. I actually went to the bathroom right before this video and had a sticker like on my shirt. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Good thing I caught that. Uh, scissors, where'd you go? Okay, so I'm gonna cut this interfacing just right around the felt, the same thing. And I'm gonna get two koozies out of this felt. Um, and we're going to use the easy press for this. We could use the heat press, but I'm just gonna use the easy press just because a lot of you guys have that and I want you guys to see that you can order our koozies. Um, and I'm pretty sure I need to start adding this stuff to our store so you guys can just buy the templates already made. Uh, it's just gonna take a second for us to get those listed and all that stuff. But I will have like koozies like this that you can just buy on the paper so you can sublimate it onto your own fabric and you just need the, fa the fleece fabric because everybody can get fleece fabric. You can get fleece fabric on Amazon, but you can also get it like at Joann's and stuff too. So we need to get this infused onto both sides. So this is a double-sided um, interfacing and it has glue and it's like these dots on it. So we're gonna get the felt interfaced onto the koozie cup. Ooh, will both the small ones fit? Let's see. I'm just gonna cut a, not all the way around it because I do want this to be, I want the interfacing to be fully covered with fabric because it's sticky. And so I don't want it to get on anything. Will it fit this way? No. Will it fit? Let's just do one of the bigger ones so that I can actually, that's a bow. It's a bow. We don't want to do that. Okay. So we'll just do... I think this is the Strata Cup, which is perfect because we have the bling. Okay, so I'm gonna just, you guys can see this. I'm just gonna take my heat press. I have it set to 400 because that's what I have for sublimation, but you just wanna kinda like rub it around until that glue melts onto this fabric. And you, I mean, you could cut everything out first. So then you are just dealing with exactly the size that you need. 
and really since I'm almost out of this stuff I should be a little bit more like cautious with how I'm using it but um I'm not because <laughs> I'm doing this for teaching purposes so you could cut all the pieces out we'll do that with the next one if we have some time oh my gosh it's 1104 how is time flying time flies when you're having fun okay so and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna get the felt to which your heat press might be better for this because you can get it all done in one and if you cut everything out so that there's no like glue sticking out then you could just cut it out heat press it and then it's ready to go but there's one more step that is needs explaining i got some explaining to do um absolutely love the mystery box good who's gotten theirs i know we had a very limited supply so i know not everybody got one but the summer mystery box will come out a few days early for our members and we should have enough that they don't sell out in 30 minutes but i can't promise you because we can only make as many as we have products to put in it sometimes so that's why oh i guess i'm gonna go with that okay so now we're going to cut this out with um i actually am excited to try the other infusible fusing stuff because this is very stiff but that's okay now you could sew it for decoration if you just want to put some like stitching on it to make it look like it's sewn um kind of defeats the purpose you might as well just sew one but it is still less steps and it is still uh less hard to screw up less hard to screw up if you don't sew it and like flip it inside out and then have to sew it together thing i'm finding with the sewing ones is i'm like hit or miss if i get the sizing right so i really love the no sew option because i can like actually work it around my cup before i glue it which i'll show you in a second so you just want to cut the bottom and the top out so you're gonna have to cut it out anyways so you might as well cut it out beforehand if you want but this makes it just one cut now what you want to do is you're going to cut one side exactly on the design. This is exactly like the pattern HTV pretty much. So now we're dealing with pretty much like we just ironed on our pattern HTV. And then we're going to leave an inch on the side. You could do a half an inch, but I have made them too small and that's not fun. So I'm going to do them just a, like an inch and then I'm going to put it around my cup to make sure and then I'm going to glue it. So Pretty sure this is our strata cup template is this our strata cup template it might be my hot cup my cold cup i think this is my cold cup let me see yes this is a cold cup koozie so now i'm going to put this around it fully so i can see where it ends and it is just a hair too small if it were to go so i'm not gonna completely close it off I'm going to, well, I guess if it's down here, it could be closed off. So I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch on that. And then I'm really gonna go big with like decorating these things. So because we're not doing like an SVG or anything on them, I'm going to decorate them with like rope and cute things. So you'll have to wait to see those and until you see our photos. Okay, my cord is pulling this. I swear I know how to hot glue. What is going on with you? And just like all of our other koozies, you just, so because this is so firm, you have to hold it for a while. Otherwise it will pop open. If you're using a hot glue gun like mine, like an extra hot one, you gotta hold it for longer because the glue takes longer to dry. Um, love, 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 right? These are so fun. That would help with me not trimming off a strip of template. Always a danger when I'm cutting next to cardstock. Yes, so more is better than less. And this fabric is very fray. So that's one thing about the no sews. If we're using fabric, you could go in with maybe like a lighter and fray those off, but you could also go in with the hot glue gun and just glue up any raw edges. Sometimes I just run the tip of the glue gun along it and it gets just a tiniest bit of glue on there so that it holds it all together, but I don't actually have to put glue. Um, I do that with my cross grain ribbon when I'm making bows, but a lighter for cross grain ribbon is actually the better way to do it. 
Don't you wish that we lived closer to Tay in California? I'm so jealous. Wish I was close to Disneyland, right? What's the Pelin number on the interfacing box? So I don't have the box for this one. So I'm not sure. This one, what's a Pelin number? Pelin is the brand. Style is 721PKG. Um, but I don't know if this one works yet. That's the thing is I just demoed on a completely different one. So um, Amazon Live, I'll update y'all on how that, I think I'm gonna like it better because these are a little thick and they're super cute though. Look at that. Is that not so stinking adorable? And then I can do, I hope the straw toppers I ordered come in time. Um, if not, ugh, I wanted Pixar straw toppers. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to show off like DIYers and stuff this trip. But with Disneyland actually opening, I will be going more often, hopefully, as long as I can get tickets. They open on Friday, Thursday morning. Hopefully I can get some. Um, but the annual pass program just needs to open back up so I can go. Again, we live in the dumbest state on earth because we can't go to these things and everybody else in the world is going to things and we're not going to things. Okay, and there we go. This, with this fabric, um, because I used the tablecloth fabric, it feels like an industrial koozie, like those rubbery koozies. Um, but I'm gonna test out some more. I'm gonna be making stuff all day. So watch my Instagram stories today if you wanna see how the other stuff turns out. Um, and I will make a highlight too for the koozie stuff so you guys can go back and watch that if you um, miss it today or you're watching the replay and you're like, I wanna see the stories, I'll make a highlight on my Instagram. Is this not cute? Do you guys love it? Do I need to come out with more? Let me know. I'm just focusing on Pixar, but Mickey ones are coming in May. I just want you to know that because um, I've been working on these things for a while, but I just didn't show you because I do that. Uh, you can get someone a 3D print some straw toppers for you. Melly Mel, I know we're working with, um, if you guys want straw toppers, Winslow's Only Hope on Instagram, she's a business member. She is going to be a straw topper girl for us. She's actually going to be making us 3D files for you guys. So anybody, anybody out there 3D print? Because we're getting 3D printing files for you guys for straw toppers. And if I would have thought of that sooner, I would have had her make Pixar ones for us. So, um, next time it's all good. We have, I'm, I'm slowly collect, like gathering tons of fun photo props. So they'll all go together and we can photograph them next time in California Adventure, but it just feels surreal. Like I haven't been in so long. So I'm like, I have to get them all done. What if our state closes down again? So and with that, I'm gonna decorate these things later. Okay, let me show you guys close up. And what else did I show you? Tell you I was gonna show you close up. My watch. Okay, hold on, two seconds. All right, so here's a close up of the pattern. I feel like with a different, um, different fabric, it would look even brighter because for some reason this fabric, I mean, it's bright, but I've seen brighter. Um, so it's got like Route 66. It has some like hand drawn inspired by monsters inc it's got some ferris wheels some patterns super cute um can you get some star wars princess let's at some point please may is mickey may but we also have may the fourth coming so lots of fun things so that's what the pattern looks like this is my apple watch band um i can't think of her name right at the moment but she has these adorable watch charms and I'm obsessed with them. So, Princess Leia, got it. What was the interface you just used? Can you link it? I will find it on Amazon and we will do more of this on Wednesday because this is all I'm working on this week. So, Wednesday, Amazon noon, we'll have dance parties. It'll be grand old time. Make sure that you come to that. Um, if you don't know how to get there, link to my Amazon store is in the description. All you have to do is click that. When I'm live, videos are at the top. When I'm not live, all of them archive to the bottom. So if you're wondering where all my old stuff is, it goes to the bottom. Um, when I can learn to embed them somewhere else, I'll try, but it makes it easier to go there so that you guys can actually find the products. Because Wednesdays are where I really focus on like, if you need that product, I'm gonna feature it in this video. 
Here, I don't want to be too salesy. I don't want to like be like, you have to buy this stuff from Amazon. On Amazon, I have to be like that. But it's okay because we all love Amazon. All right. I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Goodbye.